So I got new, I got head, new headphones. Awesome. They're the free airplane ones. <laughs> Note to self. Classy. Get you some headphones. Gotcha. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, My pink one stopped working. I can only hear half of what you were saying. <laughs> that's usually enough. Okay. All right. We'll get started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Motivational Rant. I am your host, Dino Blutzis. And as always, my co-host with me is Crystal Morency. Hi, Crystal. Hello and good morning. How are I'm you? I'm fantastic. Thank you for asking. And yourself? I am doing quite fantastic because, as you know, I had a vacation. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. So, there's okay. So, interestingly enough, there's we have so there's much to so talk much about. talking about. I'll tell you. Okay, I'll set the tone for today. Um, yeah. So let's do it. A lot of people don't know this. I don't talk about it. Uh, well, so everyone knows that I'm divorced uh, and I'm remarried. Um, which uh, shocks many people, of course, and that's fine. Uh, however, what, what, what a lot of people don't know is my ex-wife's first name. Um, and that became an issue. Uh, my ex-wife's first name is Crystal. Oh! Yeah. So, remember, so Oops. one of the, the constants that we've been going through is that we're not very smart people. Well, we do talk things out and everything, no. and I'm a man. I'm not very smart people. Um, <laughs> so, oh, Dino. yeah, so this is what's happened is now I'm one, I'm a man that doesn't necessarily uh, do good with names in general. Um, I'm not really good with those kind of things. So, especially like when we were first married, um, there was a couple times that I called my wife Victoria Crystal. And that was a bone of contention, obviously, because, you know, there's a lot of the subconscious feelings that go with that. And there's a lot of stuff. It didn't mean anything. It never does. But still, that's my wife's yeah, feeling. I should care about that. It's just when you're with somebody. Of course. So yeah. this weekend. It's just when you're with somebody. Yeah. Ooh. So this past weekend. I don't want to hear. I refer to my wife as Crystal. Uh, not during, not during anything intimate or anything, nothing like that. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. Um, and the, the, and what, the, oh boy, the real crowning achievement of everything is today is our wedding anniversary. So my whole weekend, oh, and here we are, uh, has been, um, <laughs> Dino sleeping outside right now. Yeah. I love my wife, and she is a patient and wonderful person. Uh, I'm an idiot, um, and this is the thing: is like, so I'm bad. I'm bad with gifts and stuff, and, and like, I know, I know, it's 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 very uh, cliche, um, like. Our first wedding anniversary. Like I have problems buying. No, it's it's funny as hell. So, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Do you want me to say that I said your nah. name? I, I did say your name like a ton, but not during that. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I was like, well, do you know this? And do you know that? And do you know this? I'm sure that made it a lot easier for him too. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, the problem, and this is this is where it gets it gets even stickier. Is so our first year anniversary, um, we went. So this is our fifth. This is well, no, this is our fifth. This is our fifth anniversary. This is our fifth anniversary, not our first. Okay. Yeah. So our first anniversary, <laughs> we right. went to the Bahamas, uh, which was a unbelievably nice. fun trip. It was it was just it was perfect. Um, we had a special dinner and the, the resort was great. It was just beautiful. Um, now for me, what I did was, uh, it being our anniversary, I waited till we got there and I went uh, into a jewelry store with her because every time I've bought Victoria jewelry, Victoria, Victoria is a fashion designer. She has a great sense of fashion. She's very hip. Um, oh. so every time I've bought, tried to buy her jewelry we end up going back and returning it and buying something else because she'll say i like this designer and i'm like Aww. all right cool i go there and i'm going 
Well, yeah. and the worst part is every time that this happens, I'll go and I'll be like, okay, well, this is the coolest one they have, so I'll get that. When we go back, they have like nine more way cooler things, and I'm like, what the fuck, man? Seriously, I came here to get like these weren't here. This I is promise. not my fault, you know. So, um, <laughs> but what I do is I say, listen, that I got her. It was a ring with diamonds in it that cost like three. It was about three grand U.S. dollars. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and I said to her, listen, I'm prepaying anniversaries and birthdays here. So I'm like, we get this. I'm, I'm good for like four years of birthdays, anniversary, yeah. and Christmas. Yink and shit. Yeah. Like, I send her flowers. Like, I'm not an animal. But that way I don't yeah. have to worry about a big <laughs> gift, right? And she was like, we negotiated. Because I, like, yeah. I was like, nine years. Nine years. I don't have to buy you shit. She's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> for that much yeah. money she's Freaking she's like money. no you only get like four years i'm like all right fine so this is the last year so i was supposed to buy her something four years is pretty yeah. good this year i was supposed to buy her something uh i completely forgot oh uh so I, oh no it gets better don't worry so she sent me a couple of um uh recommendations i said listen just tell me what you want and we'll, that's fine she sends me to this and she does this all the time and that's the thing is my wife is a lot more intelligent than i am okay I'm, I'm like street smart, like I'm not going to get pickpocketed, I can tell when I'm being, you know, uh, uh, maneuvered and stuff like yeah. that. My wife can't, but intelligence wise, she's very smart. So what she does is even when we went to that store in the Bahamas, she'll pick out something really shitty and be like, how about this? And she knows right away that I'm going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Are you telling me that that's what you think my love has represented on you? Like that's bullshit. And then... She's autom she's really? automatically got me into spending more money. Okay? <laughs> she's very, very smart. She's yes, very yes. smart, okay? <laughs> that is smart. she's oh no no. This oh, I am not yes. equipped to like listen, I am not equipped to handle her at all. Now, the funny part is that she sent me two and I was like, number one, get fucked. These are shit. And she was like, I thought they were nice. I'm like, <laughs> bullshit, okay? They're not that nice, mm -hmm. and I couldn't picture you wearing either one of them more than, like, twice. And I said, and honestly, yeah. she has a shit ton of jewelry. And not even, like, fake jewelry that some girls have. No, no, this shit has got diamonds in it. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Okay? <laughs> you have way too much shit as it is. I, I own one necklace. I own one necklace and one ring. And one necklace that I got passed down to me. <laughs> and then the one ring. <laughs> Well, two rings. <laughs> so. And that's it. And I think one of them's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, okay, I have, I have two rings that my father, I have two rings that blingy. my father left me, and then I have my wedding band. And that's pretty mm. much, that's all I wear, right? I have a couple yeah. watches, I don't really wear them. I wear mine every day. I wear, I never take this off, right? So, yeah. it's, um, but I'm like. He knows, like, look. Yeah, it's always here. I, I always you. here. I love you forever. <laughs> don't leave me. No. So. <laughs> yes. I don't know what to do without you. Oh no, I would die. I would die. I would. I would be like <laughs> if Victoria said, "I want nothing to do with you anymore." In about like. 35, 40 minutes, I'd be a hobo. Like, that would be, that would be my estimate. And like, <laughs> like, within 24 hours, I would be in a shelter strung up on smack. Like, there's, I know that, right? So, yeah, no, it's, come on. And even, even, even the fact, like. <laughs> He'd be on some Jenny Oh, crack. are you kidding? Like, I, yeah. It's, um, that, that, and that's the, the funniest mm -hmm. part about it is, like, Victoria right away and like she immediately knows certain things and then other things she doesn't and it, it drives me crazy because i'm like how can you know that and you don't know this right but that's that's mm -hmm. me being just crazy so she's finally giving me a few other options <laughs> i said well, how about this nice well she wanted one thing and i was like well i'm against that thing it was a necklace and i'm like listen i bought her a necklace it was called uh oh what the fuck was it it was at a jewelry store. It was called an Infinity Necklace. Essentially, it's a necklace that has a circle on it, and the circle has a bunch of diamonds on it. Okay? <clears throat> and there's, and they're okay. very small diamonds, so they're not as expensive as big diamonds. Okay, just um, so people understand, right? But it's got a lot of them. She wore, she wore. <laughs> Some people understand. She wore it once. Okay, maybe twice, and she has never worn it again. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm not buying you necklaces because you're an asshole. Because I buy you shit and you don't mm -hmm. wear it, right? 
And it was very, it was very, it's very simplistic, but it was very nice. And I was proud of the purchase. It cost me over a thousand bucks. And I was like, listen, this, and this is when we were dating, okay? And she still didn't fucking wear it. So I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to buy you a necklace. But she's, and then it's the whole big thing. So now we're working, trying to figure out what to get. I'm like, listen, just figure out what you want, buy it, and I'm just going to give you cash because it, it, there's no way the I can't buy it. Gift the best jewelry that I've ever gotten. I hate, I'm not a jewelry girl. Like, if I ever date you men, please don't buy me something fancy because I'll break it or something. I'll wear it every day, but I'll wear it and I'm not careful. So, like, because I got engaged the first time I got engaged. It was, like, this big, huge $7,000 crazy ring and blah, blah, yeah. blah. And it had, like, a sapphire and every girl was like, oh, it's so pretty. And I was like... Trying to like, you know, like hold it out here because I didn't know what to do with it. Like, I play outside. That's going to get covered in mud. Like, <laughs> this could get covered. <laughs> but the best neck, like jewelry I ever got was from this one guy who I thought I was going to spend forever with again. Whirlwind Romance. Um, bought me this necklace and it had um, my moon on it. Like, because I was born on a full blue moon. Oh, cool. Explains a lot. Uh, <laughs> I, I have so no it, idea what that meant. Found just so you know. <laughs> it's like, but okay, a full blue yeah. moon. <laughs> it means I'm... <laughs> but anyway, so he brought me the... He looked it up first to see what the moon was on my birthday. Mm. And then end up getting it on this necklace. Nice. And it was a full blue moon. And then the last gift that I got that I really liked, too, was a fishing rod. I guess so. So okay. So so that was my my exciting weekend. Um, I think that that was a weekend that you should be telling Maury Povich about, <laughs> <laughs> or Sally Jesse. You know what? And that's the thing like, is, Sally. I accidentally said <sighs> my ex's name. It fucking sucks because I do a podcast with a crystal too. So now I say it a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? And I'm just like, fuck. Because as soon as it happened, I was like, fuck. And I knew. And she's like, what'd you just say? I'm like, listen, I'm so sorry. It's just that it, it didn't, it, there's nothing. And that's the thing is me, me and my wife trust each other implicitly, right? Um, but you yeah. can't, somebody does something like that, it's automatically people are like, hey, what the fuck was that? And you're like, totally just oh, a yeah, fucking weird you thing. you wonder, you wonder deep down. Wow. You wonder deep down, because you're like, fuck, were you thinking of that person? Like, you know, did that person just pop up in your head? Is it only if it's an intimate moment it really Well, sucks. this is, and this is. Because like, then you're like, whoa. And this is the problem, is that I. That's what you call everybody baby. Oh, no. Everybody baby or everybody honey. Oh, <laughs> I, that, yeah. I, you know what? We have one friend who calls everyone honey. And, and it's a term I of. Do, who? Because I can't remember anybody's well, name. It's, and it's a term of endearment <laughs> and everything like that. And from her, I accept it. Uh, Grezna, we still, we love you and we miss you a lot. So, um. <laughs> If she's watched this, I don't know if she watched this. We haven't seen her in quite some time. But she, she was such a nice lady. So, hello. And she would say it, and I'd be like, you know what? I gave her a pass because I knew where it was coming from. And we actually had a discussion about it once where she's like, listen, if I'm pissed, yeah. I'm going to call you this or this or this. And I'm like, all right, fine. You know, it's your way. I'm okay with that, right? But we, we, did, we yeah. had a discussion because I was like, I really don't like it when you call me honey. She's like, I know. Some people are like, like she was she was very, we, we talked about it. It was good. But, um. That's the thing is that like when other people, especially when people, I've called you honey a few times. <laughs> Listen, if somebody who's younger than me calls me honey, it just makes me want to punch right through their torso and just, <laughs> poof, just right like it. Do you want to punch me through your torso? No, you don't really call. You Are listen, you you've you've <laughs> you've said my name and then said honey, and I'm like, all right, and that's okay. But some people are like, oh hey honey, and I'm like. I'm not your I'm no. not I'm not your poo bear. I'm not your honey. Okay, let's just calm down. <laughs> I'm not your. <laughs> so. 
I can't help it because I've done it for bartending for That's... so long because I can never remember anybody's yeah. name. And I can remember what they drink. Yeah. But I and it, it is a form of endearment because I want to make people feel like we've said this. I've said it a hundred times. I like to make people feel comfortable. I like to make people feel like I'm going to hug them. Yeah. Like we're all best friends. I also hate getting hugs. <laughs> like... I also hate getting hugs, just to be very clear. Okay? <laughs> and I've totally hugged Dino. <laughs> I've been like, Dino! This is the worst! I hate it. Just don't touch me. Especially now. You know what? You're like a cat. I, I'm... You're like a cat because I always pick oh, yeah. them up and I'm like, ah, oh, kitty! Exactly. I'll come over and be like, you. pet me with your eyes. Don't touch me. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Pet you with your eyes? I think that's creepier. Like, like I don't like being touched. It's just not my way. Well, that's and that's see that's the funny thing is that I'm I yeah I I just like that like do you have you seen do you know Mr Bean you know Mr Bean okay yeah so do you know remember when he's on there's a there's a game show and the girl comes up to give him his hug and she like palms her face and is like <laughs> shake hands i'm like for me i was like oh i'm not alone oh that's beautiful that's that's so wonderful it brought a tear to my eye i was like i'm a little emotional i'm sorry <laughs> He did it so smoothly, like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh, yay, that's how you do that. It's so exciting. Because that's the thing is nobody is, okay, if somebody palms your face, it's 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 an extremely emasculating. To check to see if you have cancer. <laughs> right? Like, it's an, it's, 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 it's a very uncomfortable thing to have somebody do. Zero percent vegan. Oh, yeah. That's my shirt today. I just read your my shirt. My shirt says... I love yeah, it. I love that. I've I've worn this to a few of my shows, and and people are just like, nah, awesome. I'm like, it's. Good. I had a stripper once go, oh, are you vegan? I'm like, and my jacket was a little closed. I just opened it up to zero percent. She's like, oh, I'm like, you think they could make this on just vegetables? Like, come on. And she was like, yeah, that's pretty fair. I'm like, just like, listen, that's just you know. Like, even pandas aren't that big because all they eat is bamboo, okay? It's like, listen, you're not, you ain't getting grizzly size by eating, bears. yeah, eating some berries. It's not, it's not going to work, okay? Bears? Like, black bears, I guess they're not as big as, like, grizzly bears. So. But that's because they're climbers and they're terrifying, okay? I couldn't climb a tree if my life depended on it. Elephants? How are elephants <laughs> do not climb anything? Come on. <laughs> and elephants are straight up murderers, eh? Like they will fucking kill people. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Actually, I want to ride one. <laughs> well, there's a video of uh, a lady uh, who's has the similar dimensions as you. She's she's a small petite lady, yeah. and she sits a little too forward. So the problem with an elephant is if you sit too far <laughs> forward, they can grab you with their trunk and, and essentially what happened was it reaches back reaches back feels where her leg is wraps around her leg and just pulls her right off and just Wee! oh no yeah she was okay but they're like shit because she the thing is they're like don't move from here and she's like, okay and then she shuffled forward and you're like this is this is the problem is People were like, well, I'm not comfortable. They're like, okay, just we'll adjust you here. But she was like, well, I'm not comfortable, so I'm going to move forward. And sure enough, just, and it was, she totally like starfish, like, ah, it was great. It was, so <laughs> when you ride an I'm elephant, have to look that when up. you ride an, yeah, it's very, very funny. But this is, this is the. I want to sit on a saddle like Aladdin. <laughs> Uh, Arabian Nights, like you know. So this will be our last do, 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 show do, do, like uh, once we talk about <laughs> Arabian Nights. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, listen, no, Aladdin. Disney did it listen, first. While you, while you were in the wil <laughs> and Robin Williams kicked while out. you were in the wilderness, um, Golden Girls has had episodes pulled. Yeah, we'll talk. Um, yeah, huh? there was one where they had uh, a black what? black makeup on, <laughs> and uh, that's been pulled. There's oh been a few God. other things. If you're in need of a friend. And, which the Golden Girls... <laughs> do, 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 listen, do. Sophia was the greatest fucking roaster I've ever seen in my life, okay? She, she was. was vicious. Right. And when um, Betty White... Who was Betty White's character? Um, oh, crap. She was um, Rose. Or no, she was Dorothy. Dorothy was the daughter. Sophia Rose was Betty White. And Blanche. And Blanche. Okay, so 
So Blanche went, was like the floozy. <laughs> which is great. Um, she Betty like, White, though, would, when she would, she always played the idiot. When she clapped back, though, holy <laughs> shit, it was vicious. It was so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Between their videos. She is on this show. Which? No. Sorry, go ahead. She's on the show, um, it's like something Cleveland, like hot in Cleveland. Yeah. There's a bunch, of coo bunch of cougars living together in a yeah. house. And Betty White's there, and she totally roasts the shit out of those women. It is awesome. Well, and I'm like, I know she came up with oh, that. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You know she did. Like, What's well, the same thing? Because like, I can come up with some good shit. You gotta, like, yeah. <laughs> she lived a well, life. It's you know? the same thing. Like, there were, um, just recently, there was a video that went out about the roast of Rob Lowe and uh, uh, oh, Ann Coult Coulter, I think. She was, who's a hated uh, U.S. media mm -hmm. person and she's a piece of garbage. Like, she's just a shit person. <laughs> they have writers on the show. The writers wrote up a bunch of stuff to her and, and she was like, meh, I don't like that. I want to change this. And she ended up going up on stage for five <laughs> minutes and eating all the dicks, okay? Her, her roast of Rob Lowe sucked so much shit. It was horrible. Uh... Yeah. Well, hey, we've ha we've had different weekends. I'll tell you that. No, so um, in the end, you're like, but Martha Stewart, she was on for the roast of Justin Bieber, and she went up to them and she was like, "Listen, yeah. I want to drop the mic here. Like, I want to bring the heat." And they're like, "Okay." And she's like, "Can we go?" Like, they would give her jokes, and she's like, "Can we go harder?" And they're like, "Okay," because that's all you want to hear, right? It's Justin Bieber. Okay. I want to tear him apart. So it's yeah. like, listen. Martha yep. Stewart is OG, okay? She went to jail. She oh, hangs she with Snoop. She's... She <laughs> yeah. is O fucking G, right? Yeah. And that's why you see Betty White. I love her. Yeah. I am so Martha Stewart. Listen. I love her. I fucking love her so much because I love to do crafts and shit. Like, you see all my little artwork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I, I have throw pillows everywhere. Like, everything's organized. <laughs> Oh fuck! Just don't even get me started on throw pillows. Uh, so <laughs> they're the worst. Uh, it takes an hour to go to bed. <laughs> what's the fucking point? There's it's not, it's not a pillow. It's a throw pillow. You know what a throw not pillow to, is? A pillow for fighting. Not to go to bed in the morning. Sorry, for waking up in the morning, it takes an hour because you have to make your bed in the morning, and then you like you have to put all the pillows pretty. Back. Bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, when uh, there was anyway. a movie with um, Ryan Reynolds, Sandra Bullock, and Betty White, and there's a video, it's like a behind the scenes thing that Ryan Reynolds and Betty White did, and essentially Betty White just treats him like an intern, and she's and so they just kind of like muscle him out, so Sandra Bullock like gives him shit, he's like, why are you so mean to me, to Betty White, and Betty White's like, listen bitch, when I say, when Betty White says get a coffee, you go get me a fucking coffee. And he's like, I'm not your assistant. She's like, I would have fired you if you were your shit assistant. And it's like, what the? And, yeah, and you're like, it's such fire that you're like, oh my God, Betty White is the best. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you gotta, I would check out that, I would oh check out that God. video. If you look up Betty White, Ryan Reynolds, it'll come up. Uh, I'll send you the. I'll send you a link, Crystal, because it's that. fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And, oh my she's God. like, that sounds so. Yeah, funny. like she just she just dominates so hard. And Ryan Reynolds is a funny guy, and he's like, uh, he's done. Yeah. I'm an I'm uh, uh, a nerd. I'm a fan. I'm a huge fan. Hot as hell. Hi. Oh yeah. Hi Ryan. <laughs> How are you? I'm sure you watch this. What the fuck are you talking about? I love Deadpool. Oh yeah. He's totally gonna watch this. Deadpool rocks. We'll put you inside the. We'll put him inside the captions. Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> please come. Hashtag Canada. we talked He's about Canadian, Ryan Reynolds. Right? You should watch this. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> Isn't he Canadian though? Yeah. He's totally Canadian. Yeah, yeah. Freaking right. But he's also he, he's rock. also very talented Being and rich. Being in the pretty part of Canada. Well, who cares about that shit? He's hot and he's Canadian, so fuck it. Fuck the rest I have the it. same problem. It's true. I go it's bushwhacking true. with him. <laughs> You're hot and I'm Canadian. hot and Canadian too. It's very different. Where, it's a hard where? life. It's a hard life. It's the cross I need to I have to bear. It's such a hard yeah, life. It's difficult. Yeah. I'm so just Canadian. I'm Canadian. I got so sunburnt though, so I'm kinda hot. I'm kinda like I feel hot. My skin touches. It feels hot. Do you have aloe vera? I put on cocoa butter. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know if that works. Aloe vera is very, good. very, very good for you, but 
I don't know, cocoa butter I've never used. Yeah. But, so. So. Well, I'm a natural redhead, so it fucking sucks. But, <laughs> but I do get tan nice, because it's like the French mm, in me. Hey. Nothing wrong with that. I, my, my is, I, yeah. if I tan, I will burn first, and then within two days it turns into a tan, and then yeah. just keeps on tanning and tanning and tanning. After about a week or two in the sun, yeah, people just start talking to me in Spanish, and I'm like, they don't make... <laughs> they don't. They don't make Latinos my size. It's not. Hello, senor. Yeah. <laughs> I have never seen a Latino actually in your size. No. I never noticed that. Way to go and point people out. <gasps> Speaking of pointing people mm. out, so can I tell everybody because this is pretty hilarious. So I didn't know what. Okay, so let me make sure I get the letters right. So it's B or okay. So there's the L G T. LGB, oh, LGB, what is it for the lesbian, gay... LGBTQ+. Plus. Okay, now there's another one where it's like... B... It's for like inter, interracial... Like women that are like... Either indigenous or black or... Whatever, right? Other things. So there was this lady and she was advertising for female comics, but you had to be either lesbian, gay, yeah. da, da 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 or you had to be black, da 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 Oh, uh, is and it B-I-P-O-C? Like, and, and I didn't... Is it B-I-P-O-C? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I don't know what that... That's I've it. seen so, it. I don't know what it means, just to be very clear. So it means, like, because she told me, because I asked him, like... I don't know if I'm a female comic. I said, but I don't know if I'm any of these things because I didn't know any of them meant. <laughs> so any of them. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, this reminds me a whole lot of when I found out what Greek meant. <laughs> so <laughs> For very different reasons. For very so different reasons, okay? Let's... <laughs> for very different reasons. I was there but for I neither. Know. I was there for neither. And... Let's just be very clear on that. Was... I love my wife. I love Love you so, on our anniversary. So I asked the lady. <laughs> I'm so fucked. So I asked the lady that was putting it up, and then she ended up explaining that I'm none of all that. <laughs> and I explained it to because after she asked me if I, because I'm like I'm not any of the. Once I found out that I'm not like indigenous or black or. Any yeah. other ethnicity other than yeah. white. Um, once I discovered that that's what that meant. And then when she asked me, she's like, well, we also have one for, like, lesbian, gay, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, shit, I'm not any of those either. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like you just can't fit in anywhere. Like, like, it's hard. How do you be just to simply me, like, the white girl that's not gay? See, it makes you a terrible comedian, because I'm not fat, I'm not gay, and I'm white. So it's like, uh, where are all my jokes? <laughs> like, other than my daddy issues, it's really hard. Like, <laughs> like everyone thinks this so, is easy, you know what? but I gotta come gonna, up with this. I'm gonna shit. say, I'm gonna say right <laughs> off the bat, Crystal, you did the right thing in saying I'm not one of those because that's that's the right thing to do. Okay, instead of saying. Ah, sure, today I'm a lesbian, right? That's, and you know what? No, listen, that's a, that's a... But I'm not. And that's, and you know what? Good for you for being honest and giving room to people yeah. that the show was created for specifically. And well, that's a good thing. And that's what I said. I said, I'm happy for them. Yeah. And I said, and I did, and I mean this 100%. Like, I'm happy and I'm, and I understand, like, that it's a struggle not to fit yeah. in. And it's a struggle not to be respected and accepted by society for just being who sure. you are. So if anybody understands that, I totally get that. And I want you guys to know that, hey, I just wish we didn't even have to separate them in groups. Like, why can't everybody just be equal? Like, why do we have to separate the groups of your sexuality, of your race, of your... Why do you have to be in a separate group? Why can't we all just be equal? Like, that's what I don't understand why we have all this separatism. Because I think it creates more... Like problems, yeah. like why is there this group is for this and this group is for that? So these people have to stick together, and all these people. So well, that's separating everybody. Right. I don't get it. Like I don't understand this grouping thing, and it makes me, it makes somebody who don't. Where do I fit in? I never fit in anywhere, Dino. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> and it's, and it's, so there's my my perspective and my understanding of it, um, is is 
limited, but I can, you know, I can keep keep a tune. It's um, essentially the problem was that a lot of these dedicated rooms were created specifically because people were being um, um, weren't given the same uh, chance, uh, you know, same opportunities, same chances that others were being given. So they created a space that was dedicated um, to allow for that. Now, and, and it's the same thing. It's well, it's the same thing as unions, right? Like originally they were created. The reason we have we don't have a seven day work week is because of unions. We have statutory holidays because of unions. Vacation pay, uh, vacations at all is because of unions. Now, unions now um, hold political. Uh, parties uh, by the short and curlies. Um, they're involved in money laundering, gambling, stealing pensions, <coughs> all sorts of things that are quite horrible and, and in direct uh, contradiction to what the purpose of unions were in the first place. Um, and, and that's not all unions. Please don't think that I'm anti-union. I'm definitely not anti-union. Mm -hmm. um, I'm more so that uh, I, I no no. Uh, no time in history have I more believed the fact that power corrupts and ultimate power corrupts ultimately. Um, I'm not yeah. sure if ultimate was the right word for that. But anyways. I'm a corporation fan, though, for everybody. Yeah. I think <clears throat> monopolizes should get it. You Look, get so, it. Somebody just... Some... <laughs> Ruin the environment as long as we get something good. Let's get some jobs. Yeah. Let's get some product. Well, Let's go. And that's... And that's um, <laughs> Uh, somebody posted yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, oh, no, no, no. Somebody posted yesterday that uh, Black Lives Matter should not become Black Lives Marketing, uh, because people are uh, they're yes. using. Uh, so the term is virtue signaling by putting up a sign hoping that it'll increase business, and especially during this time where businesses are suffering so much. That bothers that's, me. It bothers me that a lot. That bothers me because you know what? It bothers me a lot. But. I've seen somebody, I won't say it, whatever, but people are putting out there, oh, I'm looking for black comedians. Yeah. I'm looking for, and there's, um, yeah. like, to be on my show and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? Just so that way, what? You get, like, views and stuff? You want, like, I'm sorry, like, they say we have to have a black president in there, a black female president. I totally think that you should be looking for somebody that's qualified for the job, regardless of what their See, color is. As a woman, I don't want to get hired on a job mm -hmm. just because I'm a woman. Yeah. If I am, if I don't, can't pull my rate, I don't want to get a promotion just because I'm a woman. I don't feel that I should get hired yeah. for a position because they have to have a certain quota yeah. of a minority <clears throat> or of a gender. Like I so, don't understand why, even as a woman, I would not feel that respected. Well, I think that would put me in a disrespect yeah. and everyone around you knows you just got that position because they needed to fill a quota. Can you meet up to that job? Yeah. Are you seriously qualified for that job in the big picture? No. Like United States, United States is a war country. Can you send a woman to fucking North Korea? Can you send a woman to fucking Iran <coughs> with her being, okay, you can for other countries, but they're peace countries. They're not <coughs> war countries. The United States is a fucking war country. I agree. You can't send a woman over to North and Korea. And you know what? Like as much as it's great, yeah. but it's not realistic. Well, and this is this is where like, and this not. is where it becomes difficult, right? Because there was a time you have to remember, yeah. right? Like there was a time when the only way that people who were qualified could get a job was yeah. because of those contingencies of well we need more women or we need more people of color right and i'm not saying that that's right what i'm saying is for a long very long time um there were uh, a few very foolish and uh dare i say stupid people who thought that those were conditions for greatness um whether your gender or um color was the same as theirs and that's obviously wrong it it's horrible right it is wrong but as a person i've been discriminated against my whole like i don't know what it's like of a different color i can't i can't everybody lives separate lives everybody has separate positions i like i said i don't fit in with all the minority like i don't like i totally am completely opposite but i know what it's like and i for, from my end of it, to somebody who's always doubted, somebody who's never been given an opportunity due to any circumstances, I fought really hard yeah. 
to be where I've been at. Nothing's yeah. ever been hidden. And if you fight hard to come up, you can. Yeah. You put yourself up there. If the we came here, like all the immigrations, all the they came up. Everybody's like they're taking over all our jobs. <laughs> they are. So what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. So what are you doing Listen. about it? Are you working harder to make sure that your community builds? For sure. Like, even if we came here and we took land, they say, oh, all the immigrants took all the land, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what what are you doing to make sure your land is your land Hold and on. you rise above Hold them? Hold on. This easy... Easy. Sorry. No, 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 no. It's listen. Remember, we, <laughs> no, we want to make no, no. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. I think everybody needs to work <clears throat> hard. Yes. Now, yeah. this is remember. So there's there's certain things that we can if question. If there opportunities there, you take. Now, it. there's there's no opportunity. You make right. opportunity. I'm not. I'm not questioning that. It's more so what I'm saying is, remember, yeah. there are certain things that we don't um, understand or never experience. Right. Oh, of right? course. Sorry. And that's and that's. Of course, 100%. Right. I just I just want to make sure people are clear. Listen, guys, we're just comedians. We're not trying no, to... No, right? no, 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 so, no. Like, and, that's and that's why, why it's I like, said from the beginning, like, I don't know what it's like no, to be a different... No, like, we I don't. don't we're our both fucking is. white it's people, a right? It's different like, struggle. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Greek. <laughs> and it's a completely different... Every, Look, yeah, everybody lives different at, lives. Listen, at I face value, know. you see you know. myself, you see Crystal, and you say, listen, it's two white people, right? What you don't know is is I'm Greek, Okay. Uh, I identify as Greek. Um, that's that's my culture. That's what's most important to me. Um, and Crystal lives in Oshawa. She's barely a person, so it's not. <laughs> I'm just that's yeah, a joke. I'm very just, low income. I listen. I grew up very low income, very poor, so always yeah, a minority I, too, and always moved around yeah. a lot. Always knew, never fit in anywhere, never was accepted. Right. No family, so I get it, people. Exactly, <laughs> and that's why it's like, listen, our our versions of history. Yeah are different from other people's, right? Because that's what we experience. Yes, definitely Listen, different. I'll tell you, Yeah. no one has been persecuted. Everybody's Well, different. nobody has been persecuted like I have when I walk in an airplane and everyone goes, fuck, okay? Because I, I have to sit beside them. Trust me, it's... Listen, no, <laughs> nobody cared if I was white. Nobody cared if I was Greek. Nobody cared yeah. how old I was. Nobody cared. And you know what they cared about? Was, did I stink like ass on balls? And was I going to lean on them and fall asleep? Because the fact is, if I fall asleep on you, that's just going to happen and you're going to have to like it. Right? So, I understand yeah. that point, but that's, and that's why we're in a situation where we have, you know, good certain things that are fantastic that are happening, other things that are fucking horrible. Right, and that's where we have to. This is the this is the hard part about navigating, so right? Like, yes, I know how to sail a ship. Okay, do you know how to sail it during a storm? No, that's that's yep. that's when experience, understanding comes in, and this is the problem. Is now you have people who are experienced in dealing with this kind of thing, and when they're coming forward, now they are implementing their own personal agenda, and it's getting that much worse because now you're saying, going, well, hold on. That's not the whole idea. Like, uh, some people have called into question um, certain people that are in positions of power and authority when it comes to the groups that are protesting right now. Um, because they're using certain tactics, certain things that are, are crazy um, and viewed as extremely aggressive. Um, everyone saw, I think it was... They're enticing yeah. the anger and it's, they're it's, enticing the negative in the it's situation. A, and it's almost as if they want it. They want people to look bad. Like they want these protesters and they want these people to look bad. Right. So that way they can say, oh, and it's like, these aren't bad people. No. These people are just trying to stand up for well, what they won't believe in. Most of them, like the majority of them, you know, there are some bad, there's bad in every crew, yeah. just like there was bad cops, just like there's bad <clears> protesters. <throat> so there's bad in both sides. You know, but it's like you guys, everybody needs to just take a minute and realize, hey, you're all kind of fighting the same fight See, at the end and of the this day. Is, and that is just to be respected yeah. and to be acknowledged. See, and here's here's the real question, is that you have places like China who are now creating a, um, a, a social media scoring so that essentially you're, you, people are being watched and, and categorized depending on what you post, what you do, where you are, where you hang out, where you live. All these factors are creating a score that permits you to, um, say, get a passport. It permits you to do certain things. Rumor has it. So 
Rumor has it Canada's not far behind. Well, and that's that's the concern now. And and see, and that's the thing is, you have the intention there where you're saying, okay, well, here, here's a question for you. These people who are being used as pawns, who are lighting cars on fire, causing acts of violence, okay, do they deserve to be punished where they can't leave their country? I don't think that's very fair, right? <laughs> and on the other side, you say, well, realistically, maybe it'll help authorities um, get to the bottom of things, be able to help people that maybe are suffering from situations. Now, I'm not, I'm definitely not pro big brother, but I, I'm, I'm really, really not pro big sister. Big sister is a lot. She snitches. Okay. Snister. My, I had an older sister and she's a snitch. Okay. I'm not. So that, that has nothing to do with gender. When girls are mean. That, uh, yeah. Women are mean. And that's mean. why I'm like, no, women are mean. <laughs> women, women are mean. Are mean. <laughs> women are women are meanest to women. women okay, are women are so fucking evil. savage. Oh yeah. Women are savage. Okay. Oh, they're so. That's mean. why. That's why I don't. I don't fit in. Because I'm like, why are you so evil? Listen. Like I don't. And get you know what? It. I remember. Like I think it's because they get weird. Like, well, I got told that I have too much testosterone for a woman, like that I have a lot, and I think that's why I don't get it. Like I think that's why I don't I, get, and I have no boobs. I think that's listen, why. I, Cause I, have I understand. I have too much testosterone for a, a you know, land mammal in general. So it's, <laughs> no, but that's see, this is this is the thing is like, where do we draw the line? Where does it make it okay? Where does all this stuff function and and it's it's tricky because we're we're finding out more and more that we're only being given half the information or we're being certain things are being discredited when they should have been looked at and it's 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 a fucking nightmare and that's why like a lot of times i'm like you know what just wake me up when it's done i i can't i do i just it's just like i my heart goes out to these people who are doing things on a daily basis i'm it's just so taxing and, you know, God bless you for, for trying to change this fucked up system we have. Yes. But, you know, I, yes. I like, you. honestly, I can't do it. I Like, there were times this weekend, I'll, I'll be honest with you. So we're going to touch on something a little later after we talk about how exciting Crystal's weekend was. Um, for myself, hey. I read, somebody posted, uh, it was like a poem. Um, regretfully, it's on my phone. I can't check it right now. Uh, but... Uh, it bothered, it actually bothered me the whole weekend. And I'm going to talk about it later. Uh, but it bothered me the whole weekend. And I had a long talk with Victoria about it. And it, it was, it was brutal. And for that, like there were certain news things that I'm like, I can't watch that. I can't, I just don't, I don't want to hear about corruption. I don't want to hear about badness. Just give me something nice. And, and that's why like I turned on like old, um, I watched uh, Yes Minister. It is uh, a fantastic, fantastic show, uh, and just because it's it's just comedic, like they touch on serious stuff. Because I like those kind of things, but they make it funny, yeah. and and I can appreciate that because I try and do the same thing that's myself. What we're trying to do you, well, exactly right. Like yeah. So, but that's that's the whole thing. Is like this this it's fucking exhausting. Just like look, oh. I'm fat, but. I'm reading it and I'm getting exhausted. I don't know how the fuck you guys are doing this shit, but listen, I Ugh. we definitely need change. Guys, everybody, let's go to the bush. Everybody, come on, let's go. We're all going to go. And I know how to drive a boat, so I can boat us all out there. So considering <laughs> that... It's going to be great, people. So Crystal's going to be driving everyone on a boat up into the wilderness and then just going to abandon you. So, so that way we could all have fun. You know what? I was totally thinking, I'm like, fuck, is it too late to relocate my drive-in? <laughs> like, because if so, wouldn't it be fucking badass to have it on the lake and then against a flat rock? Fuck, this is probably going to air by the time it happens. No. But there's, there's an inflatable. A, a flat rock with boats pulled There's up. a thing, it's down oh, by the so cool. CNE, I think, where essentially it's a, it's a big yeah. floating raft that has a pop-up screen. Yeah. And it's out on the water, so yeah. everyone just lines up and you can watch it like that. Um... Yeah, yeah, no, that's definitely an, an idea. Just bring an FM radio. It's just that you have to get permits. Like you have to make sure that your copyrights and everything for where you are. For but there's no movie theaters around like that area, Bala, Ontario, and stuff. So like, is it totally impossible? I don't know. But anyways, we got two weeks to figure exactly. it out. Less than two weeks to figure. It out. 
So, <laughs> we'll figure I've, been, out. <laughs> I've been talking a lot. So, guys, anyways, about this so, weekend. So, how was your yeah. weekend, Crystal? <laughs> well, everybody, and Dino, let's talk about my weekend. Okay, let's make <laughs> sure. Let's make sure first. Okay, okay no, okay, no first. last names. Okay, we're okay, we're not no gonna last say names. last names. Maybe not okay. even a first name. That'd be nice, okay. just to protect somebody. Okay. Okay. Um, and okay, okay, especially because this is probably gonna be awkward. <laughs> okay, and remember, and remember, we're not gonna comment on you know the size of certain things because we know that's genetic, gonna... that's out of people's control. So we're not gonna discuss that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we'll start off with this. So I realized that Dino, I think I'm going to die alone. So, <laughs> which is okay, because I am hard. I don't know how to like people. Like on an intimate, like past, like, I'm like, I am a horrible human being when it comes to that. I know how to like do the motions of liking people. I can show you a great time. I can make you feel like you're a king, but I'm not gonna love you. Like, I'm like and I realize that I really like to be by myself and everything bothers me about other people. Like, 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 what the fuck? Oh. Okay, because I was... Okay, so everybody, I went on my first date in like 10 months. Okay? 10, 11 months. Like, I haven't even talked to a man other than like in 10, 11 months, especially not in like a sexual manner. So I went on my first date and I went camping in the middle of... It was on... Was it called... Um, go home lake which is super funny because you don't want to go home from this lake it was fucking gorgeous a waterfall nice. oh it was just so we end up getting a boat so i end up having to drive um so i had to drive the truck in the boat because he didn't drive and he's my age our age like well just a few years younger he's like three or four years younger but still oh, oh, um, so oh, oh, i end up having on, to drive hold on, the hold on hold on let's just go back a little bit yeah. He doesn't drive? He doesn't yeah. know how to drive? Well, not... Well, he knows how a bit. He's not allowed to. But he, um, he doesn't okay. drive. Yeah, he doesn't have a license or nothing. Okay, um, and then... So he lives with his dad, which is fine, right? Right now, in the predicament that I'm in, it's just because of COVID, but whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, everybody has their... Everybody's got shit. No, and no, then, it's, fine. Like, it's fine. Just like the cell phone. Every, I, I need like... A, I'm just, I think, okay, so for any other women, great suggestion. I mean, it was awesome. It showed me a fantastic time. I did put out, and it was great, and I want to thank you for that because it's been like 10 months. But I'm wondering to myself, I'm like, was it great because I haven't had it in so long? Or was it great because it was great? It's like when you haven't eaten in a long time and you're super stoned and you have like a bag of barbecue chips and you're like, these are the best barbecue chips ever. And you're like, oh my God. And I didn't scream my own name for the record. Um, <laughs> I didn't was, really scream That was my advice. My advice was <laughs> you're camping. You don't want to make it awkward. <laughs> scream your own name when you orgasm. It's a great advice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, um, but I didn't say any, I didn't scream anybody. I didn't know what to do. I was in like, I was there physically, I was in it, but I wasn't in it like, you know, and I'm pretty sure he told me he loved me, which is awesome. And I thank you for that. And he knew I was going to ghost him because he even said it right before we left. He was like, I hope you don't ghost me. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, and it has nothing to do with you, and I had a great time to you, and I'm not going to say your name. I had a wonderful time, and I thank you so very much. I needed it. I hadn't been on vacation in years. I don't like, it was like the best time of my life, and I thank you for the sex, and, I think, and it was pretty, it was good, you know, like, and I'm happy, and I think you were just at different places, and we're just different people, and, you know, and to all other women out there, if you're looking for a great guy, message me, comment, and I'll hook you up. Great guy, very outdoorsy, which is awesome, I love that, and, like, he can, he can make his way, so yeah, works hard, I guess, so good, yay! Oh. Thank you. 
And I was afraid for a minute. Never mind, I won't go there. Great <laughs> So. <laughs> I made it out of the bush alive. <laughs> and he even bought me a fishing rod, which I'm going to use all the time. And if you want your fishing rod back, I will give it back. But I really want it. Like, it's really nice. And I promise I use it all the time, and I won't use it on another date. And I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh. I had a great time. Thank you. Oh. There's a lot to unpack on that. I got 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's that was good. I think... <laughs> oh, sorry. So, it, it was a beautiful place, and I got to learn how to drive a yeah. boat, which was super cool. And I want to move out there, Dino. I'm telling you. And I'm just looking for a good Wi-Fi single signal so that way i can move out there and we can do this from there absolutely I'm, and we can be like hey. i'm always game for that but it's so beautiful fuck everybody needs to move out there and we can build tiny houses and it will be wonderful everybody see and this is okay so <laughs> i'm gonna give you guys my perspective and nobody has to be fancy you don't have to buy fancy jewelry for victoria if she's living oh, in the oh bush. yes i would it'd have to be fancier she's like you brought me out to this fucking place you're gonna buy me something nice Okay, trust me, that, that shit would be, yeah, that would cost me more. No, the bush is beautiful. She would take it just as it is. It's so gorgeous oh, there. Yeah. There's waterfalls. Our campsite was on an island with waterfalls, and that's where I thought I was going to die. So, I will tell you the story, okay? Don't worry. Because it's kind of funny, right? Okay. We'll so, go through it offline, um, and then... I was supposed to come home Sunday, Yeah. okay? I was supposed to come home Sunday, because I had some important stuff going on and everything and me and Dino were supposed to connect and all of a sudden so the boat stopped working really crazy right and then I got this weird look and I had this really uncomfortable feeling and I'm so sorry I'm just telling you this is how I felt it's not true he is not a serial killer everybody okay but he just gave me this look and when the boat stopped working and it was just a like I'm going to, like, throw you over these waterfalls. Oh. So then all of a sudden, and it, and it just so happened that the boat stopped working right in front of our campsite. That's when it stalled and stopped working on the day we're supposed to go home. Okay? So then, and my cell phone wouldn't start, wouldn't work. And it kept saying every number that I tried to call kept saying that it was a blocked number. And it was really fucked up. And then today I realized, like, that my phone, like, it did some sort of weird thing. Like... I don't know, like as if somebody was in my phone, okay? It was really fucked up. So, and then, like I said, my SD card, like, I don't know, it was something fucked up. But then, um, so then my phone wasn't working on Sunday. We were supposed to come home. And then, so we're sitting by these waterfalls, and he kept telling me to go have a look, like, over, like, at the waterfall type thing. And I'm like, no, I want to sit back here. Like, and he kept giving me this creepy, creepy look. And I'm like, I want to sit back here. And I almost wanted to message you when we got back after the boat bro broke down. Because, like, you know how you get that, like, fight or flight feeling in yeah. your belly? And it's me. So as soon as I got there, I got, like, a weird tummy feeling. So I started waving and saying hello to everybody to make myself known. Mm -hmm. I'm like, and it's me anyways. And I stand out because I'm always like, hi! <laughs> to everybody. So there can be a room full of 500 people and everyone knows I'm there. Like, yeah. you know? Which can be beneficial. So. There's no question about that. <laughs> I might be little, but I'll, I'll I'll rock it, rock the room, but like, <laughs> well, get the attention. But um, and I did that because I got that feeling. You know that feeling, Dino? Oh, I do. Like, uh, I'm just gonna... I do know that feeling. <laughs> So I said that, and then once there was another boater going by Monday morning, yesterday morning, because so we stayed the night, and then so the boater came by, and I ended up falling asleep like really early, which really creeped me out too. Like I fell asleep at like four thirty, five o'clock, and I didn't wake up again until the next morning, till like seven o'clock in the morning. Totally not like me, right? So, just <laughs> totally fucked so, up. So, okay. Well, let's, let's, okay. 
being in the wilderness. I don't want to know what happened. No, no, I just think no. that I, I think that I, I don't. Good. I waved down like we waved down a boat or a boater the next morning to make sure that he can help with the boat. And I don't know what happened, but they went over to the other dock and he was gone for a little bit. And I didn't really see the other guy too much. And he said that we didn't run out of gas, but I don't know what happened. And the boat came back and it was fixed. Yeah. And we could go back. Yeah. And then my cell phone started working. And so, okay, let's unpack some of that because. And then, you know, wait, 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 I'm almost done. One more time, I almost thought that he was going to kill me. Okay. I'm so sorry. It's just me. I'm fucked up. It, this is all in my head. I could be I've just because, you know, fucked up shit happens. So sometimes you assume things are going to happen even when they're not. So I could have been just assuming that I might have been killed. But then we are on our way back and he wanted to take this walk through this crazy path that was way off the beaten trail. So we go through there and there's like a railroad track and he wanted me to keep standing near it. And I'm not even joking. Like I couldn't make this up. I know, right? Like your face, I'm telling you. Like, And I'm like, no. And then I grab rocks. To, like I'm like, I'm going to get these for my stepdad. And because he likes rocks and they were really pretty ones. And I held them in my hands so, so that way I could have them for just in case I needed to like, you know. <laughs> a little sugar ray. <laughs> so that was it. But we made it home safe and sound. I drove the truck and with the boat in the back. And just very immature a little bit. Like bought a big bottle of cream soda. Like didn't bring enough smokes. Like he smoked and I had to provide the smokes. And it was just weird. Didn't bring really anything. Like for somebody who's like professional camper. Didn't really bring. Anyways, it was a great time though. And I loved the bush. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Oh, okay. So let me, let me. Let me say a couple of things. I think we're going to go a little bit over time, but I think we'll be okay. Um, so. Okay. I just got to go pick up my uh, niece. Yeah, yeah no, so no, no problem. No problem. I'll be, I'll be quick. We can leave one one thing for tomorrow. We'll be fine. good, though. I talked a lot. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's No, I talked a lot, too. That's, that's, we're talking. That's the whole thing, right? Um, we're so, talking. And I almost could have maybe died. I probably well, didn't. Okay, but so. I I'll, maybe, let me, but I'm remember, smart. remember how I've been saying how men are stupid, right? So, uh, just yeah. to just to not necessarily play the devil's advocate, but maybe give some feedback yeah. here. No, do it because I give him the credit of the doubt, benefit of yeah. the doubt. I think it's me. I think I'm fucked so, up. And I just assume people are going to kill me. <laughs> so there's there's a chance <laughs> that some somewhere you said something about train tracks or train something like that. Just there, it may have been just in passing. So it may have been his effort yeah, to maybe. be romantic, okay? Oh, okay, maybe. now grab a couple last moments. I think he told me he loved me uh, like a few times. Yeah. So I just tried to pretend like I didn't hear it too, which I'm so sorry, and I didn't mean to hear it, but I'm just not that woman. I don't even love myself at the end of the day, really. Look at all the bad decisions I've made. <laughs> like clearly, okay. like you know. Let like, me tell. Let me tell you this much, okay? Is that in all. I don't have it's, love. No, no. I don't know what it is. I can emotionally. Everyone has. Everyone has love. <laughs> okay. Make, Listen, I look like a Euro trash sh I can make Shrek. People okay. Feel love. Trust me. Everyone has love. Okay. <laughs> it's more so that men I don't, don't know. know how to. They're like, well, I, I brought you to the train because you said you like trains at one time. <laughs> this is me being romantic, and girls are going, "What the fuck are you talking about?" But it was super like, romantic, and it would have been the perfect right, first date. So. Day. But just with somebody and then, else. Okay, now, so like, men, you, you have to remember that when no, you okay. corner... I loved it. It was amazing. What? <laughs> it was a good time. No, and that's... Like, and that's, it was, like, because I felt bad because I'm like, it would have been the perfect first date just with somebody. Yeah. But no, like, it just... It, that, like, yeah. It was a good yeah, time. Yeah, and that's... Listen, that's you know, okay. Like, that's okay. There's nothing wrong. Like, don't feel... Like, yeah. there's... You don't have to feel obligated or any of that, which is a whole other thing, but... The big thing is that sometimes men are dumb, right? They're like, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to her at a party and make sure she can't talk to anyone else so she knows that I'm the coolest. And you're like, that's not how that works, dipshit. What that, what you've done is you've, yeah. and, and, and I do this as a joke where I tell people how I don't, I've never approached women. The reason I don't approach a woman is because yeah. if I, if I've read the situation wrong, when I approach a woman, I've immediately cut off all exits. She can't go anywhere. That is not a good situation for a man to be in. That is not. It's a very bad situation or very. Um, 
difficult situation for a woman to be in because she doesn't know what the fuck is going through your mind. And especially in a time and age where people are mental, yeah. the assumption is, I don't know what yeah. the fuck's going to happen, right? So it's a little bit wonky in that fashion, and that's something that men have to understand. And, like, the boat breaking down, the yeah. boat should never... Okay, men, car, a car, a boat, or something breaking down for, well, we'll just stay here, okay, is is a creative yeah. thing that only works on no one, okay? So... <laughs> oh, it scared the shit it out of me. It scares the Not shit out of lie. everybody. It really did. It ruined the whole thing. And then he did get a little bit drunk the one night, too. And that, I'm really not... I don't mind having a few drinks and stuff, but I'm not into the whole alcoholic thing. Like, I'm just not it's, there. Like, I love having a few drinks. I like having a good time. But I need you to be able to handle yourself. Well, and, if there was, and monitor, control, self-control. Well, if, if, something, you know, self if something were to happen, you maturity. want to know that you have somebody who is yeah. capable to handle a situation. Not say going, oh, I'm too drunk well, to do yeah, anything. And, and you're like, that's I not I just help. don't like sloppiness of it. I've been a bartender my whole life. I yeah. just don't, I don't want to smell it. I don't want to like yeah. anything, you know? So... But anyways, we're going to wrap this yes, up. Yes, we got to wrap this up. With a hello. So uh, let's yeah. say, okay, <laughs> you know what? Um, with Motivation. Let's, let's give you something good here. Um, we're going to touch on some stuff tomorrow that's a little more serious, but it'll be good. Uh, we didn't really have the time because yeah. I talked too much. And then oh, Crystal felt like she needed to talk. No, no. And you know what? That's that's a, such an <laughs> asshole thing of me to say. No, I talked way too much about other stuff. And it, while it was funny, there was stuff we missed. We're going to talk about tomorrow. It was important. Yeah. So, and it was great. We can we have every day, okay. baby. So I'm going to touch on this. People. It's for your motivation. In all honesty, okay? This is both for men and women. There is nothing wrong with saying no, okay? You don't want to arbitrarily say no. You want to make sure you take in all the details. But there's nothing wrong with saying no. There's also nothing wrong with saying yes. If someone asks you a question, so we've seen this a lot of time, people say, oh, well, because you responded to my, my post, you have to now post this. No, I, I don't. I don't have to do anything. I'm an adult. I've had guys going, oh, you should uh, arm wrestle. No, I'm not, because I'm not a child, okay? Now, it gets <laughs> deeper when certain things happen. Remember, there's uh, over 7 billion people in the world, okay? You can't tell me that there's only one person for everyone, okay? But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't uh, respect the person you're with and give them all the time and love and caring that you that they deserve, Relationships are hard. Starting a relationship is hard. Doesn't make it a bad thing. It just means you have to know what you want and what you're okay with before you go and starting holding other people accountable for this imaginary thing that you think might work. Take the time. Meet new people. Enjoy yourself. I'm glad Crystal had a great weekend. It's very important. I'm... I, Happy anniversary! <laughs> Thank by you the way. for for the anniversary wishes. It's very appreciated. <laughs> I think Yay. that's it for us today. Uh, you and I will talk offline a little yes. bit, but uh, we'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I yep. will load up another episode and uh, have a great day, guys.